Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a familiar face here. She hasn't been on, on my channel since like 2015. So um, we back or whatever. We were still friends during that time, yeah, by the way. Yeah, ain't no breakups. Just for clarification. <laughs> But yeah, so we're back today and we're going to be doing transform my best friend into me. So I'm going to be basically transforming EJ into looking like a moi. We're not going to be taking off the base because I feel like her base is fine. Because she can't be bothered to do no, it. No, I feel like her base is fine. She can't be bothered to do it. Loki, I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to do her eyes, her lips and her cheeks and everything else should be fine. And then we're going to just change up the wig or whatever and um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. You can just basically watch the makeup bit, watch the hair bit, maybe get a few tips, and then we'll come back and show you the end result. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. So yeah, we did actually end up starting from scratch. So I'm gonna be starting out with filling her brows because I have my brows quite thick. Um, so just to give her brows a little bit more body, I just use a brow pencil, and the one I'm using is by MAC. This is the shade Spiked. And I'm literally just filling in any sparse hairs and just making her brows just a little bit thicker. So I started concealing with my concealer which I realised was way too light so I go in with some of her concealer. This is LA Girl in the shade Fawn and I'm just blending that out underneath her brows just to give them like a clean kind of look. So to prime, I use a mixture of an Urban Decay primer and also a MAC primer. The MAC primer I use is Natural Radiance. I love that primer. I literally use it all the time. It just gives my skin a really nice glow. So since we're trying to look like me, I thought, you know, I might as well do the same for EJ. And she has a really tickly, le tickly neck, so that's why she reacted like that. But I'm just going to add her foundation. Her foundation was by YSL. And I'm just using a Real Techniques Body Blender to blend that out. Then for concealer, I'm also using fawn underneath her eyes. I'm heavily um, highlighting on contouring um, as this is how I do it on my face. Um, and then I go down her nose and then I'm also going to use another Real Techniques sponge but this is like a mini sponge and I'm going to use that to blend um, those colours out. To contour, I'm using my Rihanna Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. Um, I'm just going to create as much cheekbones as possible because I have quite prominent cheekbones so I'm just going to try and lift her face as much as possible with um, by contouring basically. Um, and here I'm just blending out the product with my little Real Techniques sponge. Yeah, so here I'm just literally blending away. We were literally like jamming whilst we're recording. We're listening to a really good playlist of old school 2000s um, and it was really, really good. Um, here I'm just going to basically start the baking process. I'm using my Laura Mercier baking, baking powder, <laughs> setting powder, and then I'm going to dust off of my skin finish powder by MAC. To bring some colour back into her face, I'm bronzing her up with my Ebony Bronze Bronzer by... Uh, I can't remember. But I'm also putting some blush on her face and this is of course Copper Tone by MAC. So moving on to eyes, I've already primed and added her transition colour. For transition I used the Ebony Bronzer and now I'm just adding a cool tone brown to her crease just to add some definition. This is like my go-to quick eye look like literally if i have nothing else to do i do this and then i'm going to use my laura Geller gilded honey highlighter as an eyeshadow and i'm going to put that all over her mobile lid So for liner, you already know, Inglot number 77 with my MAC 2's hem brush. Um, in case you're wondering, all the brushes I've used in this video are from MAC. So once I was done with the liner, I popped some lashes on her. These are extreme, like, big lashes. EJ would normally not wear this. Like, they're like literally spider legs lashes but these are the kind of lashes that I like you know big fluffy mink lashes so that's what I put on her just so she can look as much like me as possible and then I smoked out her bottom lash line and added some mascara I know this is not very um 
sanitary, but she is my friend, so it didn't matter if I used my mascara straight from the wand. So, just in case anyone gets at me about that, I know, I know, relax, boo. And then to highlight, I'm using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey on the top of her cheekbones just to bring them up a little bit, and also on her nose. So for lips, I'm doing my go-to glossy lip and to achieve this, I'm using my matchstick in the shade Espresso from Fenty Beauty as a lip liner and then I'm going to use my MAC lipstick in the shade Toast and Butter and put that all over in the middle of her lips and then on top, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and basically make her lips glisten. <laughs> Come through, come through, come through. Oh my gosh, she actually looks like me. So I'm gonna set it with my Urban Decay setting spray um, and then we're gonna move on to hair. I popped one of my wigs on her. Just just so you know guys, the wig was one, way too small for her head, heads it not fitting on a hairline, and two, the wig was customized, customized for my specific hairline, hence the lace being quite light for her um so just take that you know consider that when you know criticizing me <laughs> there's nothing we can deal okay so we were just adding some just quick one curls not gonna lie we got a little bit lazy we just did the front but it did kind of look at least close to the style that i normally do okay so we've just popped my wig on her I curled it a little bit and then i'm just gonna take down the pink curl on the in the front but yeah this is her final makeup look um she's not used to this so she's a little bit uncomfortable but it's all good okay Oh. Mm, yeah. Jessica Rabbit. I think the red really suits her. Tell me what you guys think, but I think it really suits her. I feel like she does kind of look like me, like strangely. We don't have the same clothes, unfortunately, so we're just gonna pretend. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Tell me how you think okay. I did. Yeah, this is pretty much <laughs> This is pretty much it, guys. I know the lace is a little bit lighter, but we tried our best to blend it as much as possible. But this is pretty much how I'll do my hair and my makeup. I transformed EJ into me. Let me know if you enjoy these type of videos or if you enjoy us together and we'll try and get together and film a little bit more. But um yeah, she really wants to take her makeup off and her wig. I wanna take this lip gloss off and these eyelashes on this wig. She's really not used to oh my um, God. Like this, but um yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you soon in our next video or in my next video. So yeah, bye guys. Oh wait, 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 wait. Also don't forget to check out Oh yeah, we also filmed a video on EJ's channel. I'll leave it in the cards and also at the end screen. So make sure you oh, check it out. Oh the the cards, what's that? Yeah, it's just up there. Oh wow. Yeah. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.